I remember when you were little and you wanted to bake cookies. And we did. And they turned out like hockey pucks. So, of course, we sat around eating the cookie dough, laughing and talking and just hanging out. And you said that you didn't care that I wasn't like other moms. I know you're older now, baby. But we are going to bake cookies when you wake up. And you're going to wake up, baby. I know you are. believe that, you know. If you don't believe that Michael's going to wake up, I don't want you here. I can't pretend I don't know how serious Michael's condition is. And the doctors told me the same thing they told you. Which means you want me to give up the way you feel. No, this is not about giving up. This is about That's facing why the... you wanted me to go see Morgan and tell him about his brother. You're his mother. No, you he thought needs that if you. I told him about Michael, somehow I would come to my senses. <sighs> that believing that Michael is going to get better is wrong. I really feel for you, Carly. Yeah. But you, you've got to do this your own way in your own time. Yeah, which means you think that I'm crazy and Michael doesn't stand a chance. I love you. I will always love you and want to give you what you need. Hey, you give me my son. Because that's what I want. I want Michael whole and well and I will not give up until he is. I'm sorry for the way I acted earlier. The last thing I want to do is push you away. I love you and I need you so much right now. I'm not going anywhere. I need you to at least hope that I'm right. Jax, I believe that if I, if I stay with him and I talk to him, that he's going to find his way back. You know, he's like me. He's not a quitter. My brother's here. Give him an update. The doctors say that he's not going to come out of this. Oh, my God. What this must be doing to Connie. Yeah. The thing is, she refuses to believe it. It was a... Carly sighed and listened. And she tells herself that Michael is going to get better, that he's going to pull through this. I try to say the right things, but all I want to do is scream at everyone. It's Sonny and myself for not being there. It was beyond her control. You know, Michael's a kid who should have been out playing baseball. Having his first crush on a girl. Not buying a gun, trying to protect his family and be like his father. You know, I suggested to Sonny that he should uh, get out of Michael's life. He said that he would never abandon his children. Well, where is he now? His son's in a coma. He's probably trying to find out who did this. Yeah, and a lot of good that's going to do. Oh, Carly's a wreck. She's falling apart. Unable to accept the truth. Hey, look, you're a gambler. You've beaten the odds many times, and maybe, maybe Michael will. Jerry, I'm afraid for Carly. I'm afraid what will happen if Michael doesn't wake up. You know, Jerry reminded me of all the times that I've beaten the odds.